going to make things work out well. And Sharon Leon is going to lay those out for us. Okay. Uh, this is my, my first opportunity to deliver the ground rules of that camp. This is usually Tom Shine's job. Uh, and Tom makes a big splash of, of what the rules of, of that camp usually are. There are, there are three. And they're really simple. First, you will have fun. <laughs> Second, this will be a productive time. You will make something new for yourself, uh, new for your community, even if it's just to contribute to uh, a Google Doc that is a set of notes for a program session. You will contribute something to the world and to your own room. And the third one is that camp, hands down, is a collegial space. It's completely horizontal. We have graduate students, we have full professors, we have undergraduates, we have designers, we have staff, we have people from all over the community, everybody is equal. We are all in conversation with each other, and no question is too elementary. Um, the idea here is it's a space of inquiry where we talk to each other. And we actually feel free, as Jeremy was just suggesting, to admit what we don't know. And that's how we get to the productive part. So those are the three ground rules of that camp. Um, they have been remarkably successful in the last three and a half or four years. And so I hope that, that they will guide you today as you have fun and build things. Great. Thanks, Sharon. Um, so along with those rules is nobody's going to stand up and read a paper. So do everything you can to participate in the sessions, lead them, promote resources, whatever it is that uh, would be helpful to you, the sessions are yours uh, to do as you, as you want. Uh, let me show you a few things that will help you um, navigate uh, today. So first, you're going to want to know where's the schedule. So if you go to our website, which is newengland2011.thatcamp.org, um, you'll see the schedule. And this one right here is the, the ses session schedule, which is being worked on right now. Um, and eventually, these blanks um, will be filled with the sessions that you propose. So there's basically three kinds of things that can happen today. Um, a lot of you were here last night for the workshops, and we're going to have three more of those workshops, all of which will meet in this room. Um, so after a break, uh, Sharon's going to um, have a workshop on digital humanities project management. Um, then after lunch, Amanda's going to talk about superhero search and replace. Uh, and then um, Conrad is going to talk about GIS, um, how to make uh, simple maps. Um, the main thing, now, a lot of you, if, if left to your own devices, will only go to the workshops, which is, the workshops will be helpful to you, but really, you want to get into some of the um, um, unconference sessions. So, so don't limit yourself just to the workshops. The other things are these sort of democratically run, voted on, um, sessions which will appear here magically in a few minutes, um, or, or semi-magically. Isn't that how democracy works? Uh, um, so these are going to be at um, five different rooms, all in this building. So this is Mandel G3, and then if you go down the hallway here on the ground floor, um, there's a seminar room on the right, another seminar room, G11, and then there's sort of a small auditorium, classroom sort of space. And then there are two more smaller seminar rooms upstairs. Um, so on the, the floor where we had the, the coffee and stuff, there's, um, if you go down the hallway behind that, there's a seminar room. Um, and then on the second floor, there's one in the, the same place. Now, I'm obligated to make this announcement. Uh, whenever they designed this brand new, beautiful building, one silly thing they did was leave these department offices open so anybody can go in there. So they're really nervous that you're going to rifle through their papers or whatever. So please don't touch, please don't touch any of those things. Um, I want to finish my degree here. <laughs> um, so just go to the seminar room and don't touch anything else. All right. They made, they made me say that. <laughs> um, and then here's the third thing that you can do. So we have the workshops. We have these unconference sessions, which are really the heart of it. And then that, that atrium upstairs is open the whole time. And you'll find other sort of little spaces in the nooks and crannies around this building. Um, if you don't like all the, any of the sessions that are on at a particular time and you want to do something else, do that. Get a group of 
people, hold an impromptu workshop. If you're an expert, like in, say, LaTeX, um, and you want to teach people how to use LaTeX, just sort of put an announcement on Twitter, put something up on the, the blog, um, meet me at thus and so a place at thus and so a time, um, do whatever you want. So the, the atrium is open for these sort of impromptu sessions and workshops. Um, Jonathan King, there's Jonathan in the back. Uh, he's from CUNY, and he's interested in starting um, that camp in New York. So if you're from New York, there are um, quite a few of you, I think. Talk to Jonathan at some point today, um, and maybe he'll do sort of an impromptu uh, session as well. Also, yes. if, you need, um, if you need to stretch out the announcement time in order to give the schedulers more, <laughs> more time, I'm happy to talk a little bit about that camp and how you would organize that camp and all that if you want. Great. We'll do that in a few minutes. Sure. In fact, I think the very next thing is um, Amanda French is going to explain to us the proceedings <laughs> of that camp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did I agree to do that? <laughs> That's right. Okay. I have not checked my email. Sure. I'm happy to do that. Let me 